Hi, have you ever wondered how to successfully load a long arm quilting machine and get it ready to quilt? Today, I'm gonna to show you how to load the quilt. I'm gonna also show you how to get the quilt machine ready to quilt before the quilting actually begins. I've been quilting on the Baby Lock Crown Jewel 2 quilting machine, which has an 18 inch throat and is 12 feet long because I've got an extension and I've been quilting on this for over three years. It's on the momentum frame and it also has luminous lighting, which I love. The luminous lighting is also 12 feet long because I've got an extension on that. So over the past three years, I've learned tricks and tips or tips and tricks so that um, to make quilting easier and more successful. Today, I'm willing to pass these tips and tricks along to you. Okay, first of all, whenever I come in here, I turn on the lights, but the lights I've already turned on. And the second thing I do is I'm going to move the quilt machine out of the way. And I'm going to make sure that my leader, which this is my leader, is poking through this section right here. We're going to get that all straight. Making sure that it doesn't have any gaps and it's not overloading. And now it's ready to, qu to pin on my quilt. And that's going to be the first thing. But whenever I'm pinning on my quilt, I have to first of all measure my quilt to make sure my length goes with my length backing and my width goes with my width backing. So if I were to load a quilt and I put my length this way for my backing, but I put my length this way for my quilt, then it would not be right because I might run out of fabric someplace down the road. So you need to measure, lay it out, make sure that you've got the backing completely covers the quilt. And I'll see you in just a few minutes and I'm going to do that.